Chesapeake Bay Crossing Tier 2 NEPA study has begun and it's time to let your voice be heard by filling out this opinion survey. But first, let's tell you a little bit about the Tier 2 study. The talks of corridor options up and down the Chesapeake Bay and location of a new crossing have concluded. We now know that Corridor 7 is a selected option and future of any possible solutions. It's now time to identify the best option moving forward. This four to five year study will evaluate environmental and socioeconomic impacts on a range of alternative alignments and transportation issues. This isn't just a study for a replacement span for the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. This study will evaluate and identify issues from Severn River Bridge in Anne Arundel County to the US 50301 split in Queen Anne's County. The NEPA Tier 2 study is a federally mandated study that aims to conclude in the fall of 2026. If you need more information on NEPA Tier 2, you can find the MDTA's complete presentation online. The boards are actually already posted on baycrossingstudy.com to where they can see what we're, we're going to present and provide comments early, we, earlier the better kind of thing. Yeah. Even though Corridor 7 has been selected, the MDTA still hopes to gain input from the community. What issues are the most important to you? Is it summer congestion? Mobility in your own community? Environmental concerns? Or is there something else that you think needs more attention? Please visit the baycrossingstudy.com and fill out a survey today. While comments and discussions on social media can be filled with opinions and information that the MDTA needs to hear, they're not guaranteed to see it unless you fill out this survey.